Hey guys, so I'm sure you all heard the news that the A6700 just came out, but I'm also sure that many of you, like me, have no intention of upgrading anytime soon. This is still a great camera. Now, I've learned a lot about this camera over the past four years. That's why I'm making a short series of tutorials specifically for this camera to show you how to do some things that aren't necessarily super obvious at first. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to stream video from your Sony Alpha 6600 to your computer monitor using the Imaging Edge desktop app in Windows 10. First, download the Imaging Edge desktop app, not the webcam app, the desktop app, using the link in the description. Once installed, restart your computer. Seriously, if you skip this step and it doesn't work, joke's on you. Restart your computer. While it's restarting, in the camera, go to Menu, network page one and turn control with smartphone off next go to setup page four usb connection and set it to pc remote connect your camera to your computer via the micro usb cable that came with the camera and turn the camera on open the imaging edge desktop app on your computer and start the remote application if everything checks out you'll double click your camera model when it appears here. Aside from having a full screen live feed of the camera view, the app gives you the ability to switch between auto and manual focus and adjust features such as shutter speed, aperture, ISO, and white balance. You can even start recording without even touching the camera. Now, some of you may run into some issues when doing this. First, go back and make sure you didn't miss any of the steps listed in this video. If you didn't, there are a few things that you can try. My first solution to every problem is restarting the computer. There's something about it that always seems to resolve issues. If you receive an error message saying that the camera is not connected, make sure that the camera is actually on and that the connections are secure. If they are, try doing a USB reset. Close the app, search for USB reset, right click and run as administrator. Let it do its thing and restart the computer. When you open it back up, it should work fine. If it still doesn't work, it could be that you're not using the correct cable. If the tiny opening on the micro side has little notches, this is a data transfer cable, which is exactly what you need for this. If the opening is flat on both sides, this is a charging cable and simply won't work for this sort of thing. I'll leave a link in the description where you can purchase one of these for super cheap. Next, check to make sure that your firewall is off. That shouldn't really be affecting anything, but it is possible. I'll also link to a video on that. If that still doesn't work, there's one final thing you can try. Open File Explorer, go to Drive C, Program Files, Sony, Imaging Edge, and LJ Adapter. It's possible that this file, libusb-1.0.dll, needs updating. I'll also leave a link below showing you how to replace this file. All right, so if you've tried everything in this video and it still isn't working, you're either working with a cracked version of Windows or there's something wrong with your camera and or USB ports on your computer. However, there is one more thing you can try. If you go to the Sony Imaging Edge FAQ page, at the very bottom of the page, you'll see that if you like this video and subscribe to this channel, every technological problem you've ever had will just magically resolve itself. In any case, I hope this was helpful for at least one person out there. Be sure to check back for some other videos where I show you how to record your camera screen, using the camera as a webcam, streaming the video feed to your phone, and much more. Until then, happy recording.